Hello and welcome to another episode of the Plus X3 HP Podcast Reviews Edition. I'm one of your hosts, John Clemente. Alongside with me are two of my bestest best friends. I'm going to start with the guy in the middle. Chabox, how are you doing? Hello, ready for this movie. And then uh, along, uh, right underneath him is our other brother from the West Coast. Chabox, uh, Arnie, how are you doing? <laughs> You're on mute. You're on mute. Still can't We're gonna hear vamp you. until we hear Arnie. We're gonna vamp. <laughs> we don't hear you. <laughs> I think that sums up this movie. I I think are you underwater? That's why you can't communicate with us. Are you we're no longer discussing Echo. There's no more ASL. We're discussing Aquaman now. Hello. There, 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 you, there, go. there you go. All right. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Aquaman. I was underwater. Yeah, you were underwater for a little bit. Uh, okay, as we vamped a little bit. Uh, a little bit now. <laughs> In this episode, we are going to be discussing the cinematic masterpiece that is called Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, the second movie um, from James Wan, the director of the first. Mm -hmm. um, here's the thing. <gasps> The first Aquaman had more than a billion dollars in the back, mm -hmm. box office. Mm -hmm. So naturally, you'd expect... A sequel. You expect a sequel. And even if it wasn't as great, you're going to expect a certain level of like, we're going to be entertained. But are we? We were. <laughs> a little bit of stats before we dive into the episode. But also, again, if you want to join us in this discussion, pause the, and you haven't seen it, right? Uh, if you haven't seen it it's if okay. you haven't seen it we'll talk about it later but a little bit of stats before we do like a non-spoilery review um, I bought this Aquaman shit Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom directed by James Wan written by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick right uh, it's based on the DC character of the same name produced by Peter Safran like the, the main dude of DC now James Wan Rob Cohen stars Mama uh, Jason Momoa all right, Patrick okay. Wilson of the Conjuring fame. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Yaya Abdul Mateen the second, which is a very amazing actor. He is. Uh, he's uh, he's Manta, right? As as yeah. Manta. Okay. What had happened uh, here? We will discuss. Yeah. What was he? We have the what horror movie was he in? Um, Candyman. Candyman. There we go. Yeah. Candyman. Oh, Candyman. Okay. Candyman. Oh, oh. Um, the we have one. Randall Park. One of the most entertaining Asian Agent American Wu. actors, Agent Wu. Agent Wu, also from Marvel. Also, more importantly, uh, Eddie Jim. Wong's dad in that show, um, Jim Asian Jim. A Jim Halpert from The Office fame. Um, we have Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Surprisingly, he's coming back. Wait, he's, he's still there. I didn't yeah, see him. He was him. in the first one. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, it's like the first surprisingly, one. a lot of screen time. Um, I did not realize that Martin Short was the name of the crab. It was. It was. The crab. That's a Martin Short. He, he's a really I, good actor. I, 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 I had I mean, to check. But, but it was Gimli who voiced him, right? No, Gimli's the... No, no, no. Martin Short is the head pirate. The the one they oh, interrogated. The, Gimli, the Gimli the is the crab. But okay. the, 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 one, the one in the pirate thing was a no. Martin Short. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, and, and Gimli, very recognizable name, very amazing actor, also in this movie. Nicole Kidman is in the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sorry, we'll discuss Amber Heard a little bit. She was in this movie as a little bit. But more importantly, it's a, it's 124 Boba minutes. So, Boba Fett. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh the, yeah. We forget Boba Fett, uh, Arthur Sr. is still yeah. there. Um, uh, Aquaman's dad. Uh, but uh, more importantly, it was released in December 19th, so it has that holiday um, slot. Mm -hmm. uh, December 22, actually, in the United States, in, in, in the rest of America. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only 124 minutes, so two hours. Tight. Mm -hmm. There's a tight two. <laughs> Check. All right? So yeah, let's, let's run it back. Like a tight two. You have, you have everybody in the first movie, same director, 
Mm-hmm. The first movie made a billion dollars. You have a Christmas release. Mm-hmm. You have a tight two-hour movie. You have two hundred and fifteen million dollars in budget, a little bit lower than the first one. The first one was two hundred twenty-five, but oh. still. Um, and then so first one was a billion dollars in this movie, right in a respect a respectable three hundred and ninety-eight, which is four hundred, right? So so they lost money. No, it's it. It did not lose money because it's twice as much. Oh, okay, twice as much. Right? Okay, okay, twice as much as the the budget. But oh, wow, it's That's still not good. Sick. Like I don't know. Like Zoom has this thing where you do certain gestures and then they do certain things. Like oh, oh wow, okay, um, okay. Uh, so, but yeah, it's let's okay. Let's just jump into it, Arnie. It for the people that have not seen it, uh, and wants to discuss this movie with us. So usually give them uh, initial reactions of the movie, non-spoilery stuff. What is your your non-spoilery first reaction about Aquaman okay. and the Lost Kingdom? Well, first of all, uh, it's kind of like what happened with more recent DCU releases. <clears throat> Once that James Gunn announced that he's going to reboot everything, I lost interest. <laughs> There's no more stakes, right? But as a standalone and your expectation is really low, popcorn movie. Good. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Uh Shabax. Um, yeah, I mean this is like uh the bottom of the barrel, the last DC EU movie. And yeah. we watched it this week, so it's been out for a while and uh we had to wait for streaming, and we were surprised it came in this early. So the expectations were low, low, low. But, you know, I want you the kids. Like the, bottom the, the, <laughs> the bottom of the low. The bottom of the low. I want you the kids. <laughs> I want you with the wife. They always bump up a few points whenever it's a family thing that we enjoy. Yeah. So It is a family movie. Yeah. It's not as bad as I thought, but, man, mm-hmm. it's not good. <laughs> So, all right. I think you stole my exact words, Chubax. When I listen to other uh, shows review Aquaman and Lost Kingdom, so one of my favorite shows is The Ringerverse, and the Midnight Boys did a instant reaction to Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. They fucking crushed this movie. The reason why I was very excited of watching this movie because they were like, this is the most horrible shit they've ever seen. It's two hours that they can get back, no, et cetera, et cetera. That no, so that's, what, that's what I said. So <clears throat> the entire review, I do, I agree with a lot of it. I, I agree with whatever that they'd said. But in coming into the movie, I thought that this was going to be horrible. I thought it was going mm-hmm. to be unwatchable. Um. And yeah, it's like again, I can lie, it's bad. <laughs> I, I would I wouldn't suggest people to watch it, but I paid for it. If you wanted to have a little fun, right? And it's on fucking streaming, just like put it on. It's yeah. um there are stuff though that kind of irk me to no end, which we'll discuss, but you know, primarily it's um the the word that I will describe this entire movie is apart from Apart Astounding. from um, Patrick Wilson, I love mm. him. Like you know, like, oh, he's, he's a pro. He's yeah, a yeah. real. He's a real yeah. actor. Mm. But apart from Patrick Wilson, the one word description of this movie is uninspired. Ooh. Like everybody, see, it it felt that nobody wanted to be filming the movie. Like, <laughs> like Jason Momoa. I at first when I was looking at it, it's like, like you're. Your main Hollywood thing is you're this like buff dude. Mm-hmm. I know it's very shallow, but you did not see him with his shirt off because he was not in shit. <laughs> like all of the all the muscles that you see was on the on the suit uniform. He didn't yeah, even bother to wear it the whole movie. He changed to that shaggy loose fitting yeah, the... like tunic. Yeah. Uh oh, you call um the boho uh, style. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I, think right? yeah. I think that was what he was wearing when he came to say that. I was like, it was fucking... 
I ain't very that no was good. the review. It's like, you know, he, he he came on set and he's like, you know what? Fuck it, just go straight. No makeup, no wardrobe. Just go Patrick straight. Wilson was a buff. Patrick Wilson um, showed up. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like everybody, everybody was uninspired. Except for Patrick Wilson. Except like for Patrick Wilson. See, Ra- even Randall Park f- seemed like he was bored. <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> Everybody was uninspired. Even the baby who didn't grow in five months. <laughs> <laughs> they should fire that baby. He didn't. He didn't have the nerve to grow up in five months. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, Nicole Kidman. I mean, Dolph, like everybody on screen. I like think even Dolph why... Lundgren. Dude, Dolph Lundgren. Katrina wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, for movies like this she's not paying that much attention she's on his phone but she, why did the baby age? <laughs> there's only one baby they didn't even get different babies for the different timelines <laughs> it's, it's almost like somebody in the crew gave birth okay let's just use this today baby <laughs> so my thing is my, my thing is um it's it's apparent, like what you mentioned, like you know, there there was a point where they figured out that this movie was the last movie in the mm. DC EU, the original Snyderverse, and then everybody from the graphic designers to the visual effects artists just like gave up because there was a solid part like early in the movie, everything looks good. Like like mm-hmm. one of the main complaints of the Ringerverse was you can really see unfinished work. Which I was like, when I was first watching, it was like, everything looks okay. Looks like, good. even the with the, like, mm-hmm. no, but there were, were, if you, if you actually, if you paid attention, like, towards, you know, mid to end of the movie, you can really see, like, really poor, like, the last, particularly the last arc, like, the fight scenes, the CGI stuff at the last mm-hmm. arc, pretty horrible, which is stark because, like, th- most of this movie is CGI. Most mm-hmm. of the characters are CGI. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that bodes well because every, the people that are in that film did not want to be acting. So um, it's good that they manufactured their own, like that, their own little version of Jabba the Hutt, right? You know, oh, was was like, all right, good that you're CGI because if you were like a real person, you're probably like rolling your eyes or something. But so, okay, that's the initial reactions. Um, it's not as bad. Again, it's not as bad. It's still like if it were, if it were free, if it's on HBO Max and you had nothing else to watch and you mm-hmm. were cleaning the apartment or you're folding laundry, it's fine. It has some jokes, yeah. not that funny. Um, the only thing that the, the the last thing that I'm gonna say is like, Jason Momoa, very annoying in this movie. I did not like his whatever acting that you might be saying just like it was he was a little too broy and then he seems like he seems like he's forcing himself to have fun it's not like fast x where he was also annoying but it was fun mm. right um but like reading into a did a little bit of research like still around before and during this filming was around the time that he was going through his divorce with um lisa bonnet yeah uh, so um that might be a big reason why he was, you know, mentally not there, but also not in shape, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully yeah. he gets it back together. So I'll give you a little pass. But again, you're my, my if you're if if you're known to be the hot dude, be the hot dude. You're getting paid millions of bucks. Come on. It's like Yeah. I'm just saying, like. You're you're not a method. You're not gonna be Tom Cruise that can get along, get away with just like facial acting. Like if people are looking at your body, <clears throat> work on your body. So, uh, all right, let's go through Trebox. Let's go through the synopsis and just like have fun with like this fucking. Uh, Before that, like, why, why was, why was uh, Orm in prison again? Because he fucking threw a coup. And tried to yeah. kill the surface world the first time. Yeah. Did he did he throw a coup? He was ocean master, right? He, he was they ocean master. Ocean master like, and then... Oh, so technically uh Aquaman threw a coup. Right? 
Yeah. But that, yeah, he was plotting against killing the surface world and okay. using Atlantis, you know, drawing we'll Atlantis go, out to kill the ocean. We'll go back to that later. Yeah. So this Basically, is basically Black Panther. Uh, oh, okay. You know. so we'll start with the plot. So this is with the help of Wikipedia. So this is four years after becoming king of Atlantis. We get Arthur married Mira. Mira? 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 Mira. 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 What? <laughs> Amber oh. heard Mira. Mira. Uh, and then they have uh, a son, yeah. Arthur Jr., so creative. <clears throat> and then he's splitting his life with this, the land and the sea. And uh, we get this uh, fucking montage at the start that shows this. Holy shit, this movie is <laughs> not a billion dollar <laughs> movie. It's like, I, we I'm get not going to lie. I have a lot. I have a. I have a... <laughs> Peking, but that was not funny at all. We, that we, baby we have this baby. montage of his narration. Well, Amber heard rerouting that P. Pitting. Not funny. <laughs> it's still not funny. No, but the feel. Like, you can say what you want about Aquaman, but it did kind of feel like a billion dollar movie. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there were stakes in it. And then you have this intro, like, it's like uh, those... Uh, what the episode was that in the one division where she was narrating and then we were seeing you know it's kind of like that feel like a sitcom it's, feel it's a sitcom yeah yeah there, there that's a term and it it was bad man and we see the scene where he's right he's spinning his bike around uh the dad and the baby mm. and it's like mm. hey, no <laughs> okay so so we get that scene, and then we get this super serious scene of uh, David Kane slash Black Manta uh, looking for, yeah. um, I guess, Revenge. any Atlanta Atlantis wreck- wreckage so that he can yeah. fix his uh, Arms. Manta armor. And I, at first, I thought, like, shit, they abandoned the... Uh, what was his name? Um, Orm or... Uh, Randall Park as uh, the doctor because yeah. he was in yeah. the first one, right? They were setting him right up there. as like the scientist, yeah. but he was there, so I, I was surprised with that. So he was helping him, and then um, they find the black trident. Of course, there's a black trident, and uh, it kind of possessed him. <laughs> so, yeah, it, 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 there was a ghost inside it and uh, giving him power to destroy Arthur. So, um, Five months later, so we, we see, we see uh, again, we have a montage here of seeing Arthur both in his land, life in land and life in sea, where typical government where he's getting shit from uh, the council so that he can get shit done. And we see his life in the, in the lighthouse or beside the sea where he's taking care of his, his kids. And we get this... Uh, it call me stuff of uh, being a dad and how difficult it is. Being a dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and how he can't make his son sleep. And then, um, yeah, we zoom five months later. Fucking oh, baby. Oh, but also like the, the even... montage of like him being super bored being a king. Yeah, sleeping and shit. He, and he stuff. like kept, well, I did like that. The small part that I like, I did like the idea. It's like, oh, being a king is not how it's cracked up to be. There's apparently this council, so I can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, so and, King of England. <laughs> yeah, so the five King months, of England. <laughs> five months later, uh, the baby didn't grow shit. It was so fucking lazy. Didn't even grow five, <laughs> five, five months, dude. Five months is like <laughs> night and day for a baby. For for a baby, she should he should be like he could be again, walking. You know what? He could be walking. If he was three months at the start, eight months, he could be sitting up, standing. So, anyways, um. We get Manta uh, attacks. Oh, he didn't attack. He he breaks Stole into some or- he, he, he breaks <laughs> into the most secure vault that was guarded was by nobody. <laughs> there was nobody there. There but were no security. Uh, uh, huh? You know, it, it was too expensive. To- <laughs> there, there was an octopus, but okay. there was nobody watching. There's nobody guarding it. There were no security measures. They just opened one gate, and it was straight through to the Oricagum, and then just one octopus watching outside. It wasn't not, even inside. Not, a, not even a trap. Like uh, the the train from Echo had more security. That was <laughs> That's true. 
<laughs> with the train at Echo. No, at no, um, no kind of like a monitoring system, like a ring well, camera. They did least. trip something. I think they did trip something because that alerted the forces, right? So they were coming. Yeah. So this big ship that's slow as hell attacks very this very, very, very secure kingdom who's never been breached. Just one ship with one kind of or weapon. For thousands of years. Yeah, attacks. Of <laughs> Makes I mean, sense, 100%. And, and that submarine is so impractical. Like There's so much space <laughs> in that bridge. And we've seen <laughs> Aquaman in the first movie move so fast. Right? He moves yeah. so fast, but he's the fucking last guy to arrive. <laughs> Where the fuck was he? So, as they're arriving... Taking care of his well, king, he's bro. out of shape. He's out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, the alarms are triggered eventually they escape so as they're escaping with the oricalcum they split up the two guys with the oricalcum go somewhere I don't know left or right and, 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 dude it's already discussed that oricalcum is uh, an amazing power source but very very detrimental to everything else yeah so and they so didn't say I where did appreciate that they said they were mining it but oh, anyways mining it from where so <laughs> they separate from Black Manza. <clears throat> so the Arakaka was trying to escape, and then we get. I don't know where they came with up with this. Have we heard that in the comics at all? Is, is Arakaka. I don't know, because it sounds like a fucking. It's an ugly name. It's unobtainium. Unobtainium is actually. That's smoother from the amount, right? Arakaka. So, so we come with the, the security comes, and they're just like, I don't know, 10? It's not even a full force in this kingdom. It's like 10 Atlanteans on mechanized sharks. They couldn't even get normal sharks. Why would you have a many? If you're going to get It's a... too deep. It's too secure. Even <laughs> sharks can swim that deep. They need to if, make if you're gonna robot make sharks. Like a speeder. Make it look like a speeder. Why do you make it look like a shark? If you're going to make it look like a shark, get a shark. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so let's tackle this. This, this is one of the... One of the things that I noticed, I didn't mention to the kids, or they can't, they didn't mention it. I think this is tied to what you said, John. That uninspired, un, um, unimaginative. We get so many shit that they literally translated the same way. They didn't go to the step of how would this be here. They took mm -hmm. the shark. It made it a sh uh, uh, a, a bike or yeah, a speeder. They just made it into mechanized, but it looked the fucking same. It acted the fucking same. It, th nothing was different. They we have some scenes with uh oh here this is it's here also they're showing the the the, the place the Atlantis right. Uh, There's yeah. a place where it looked like a a pier with mm -hmm. uh, with markets and restaurants. It mm. looked the fucking same as a, pe a normal pier mm. that we have, mm. just underwater. You know mm. what I mean? They're, same way, it's not stacked. You can stack shit because you can swim up and down. But no, it looked yep. like a normal pier, one level, with the same restaurants. You're right. You're right. There's but no like. There's you no have to adapt it, right? You can world. you copy something like a market or a mall, and then you make it Atlantis <clears throat> style. You don't put. You just don't transform it into Madripoor. The same. Madripoor is kind of like a, a good no, explanation. Uh, the, like, the, yeah, it's a combination of different existing big cities. But I mean, when Marvel did a uh, Hong Kong type, black market type world, yeah. it felt real and yeah. different, right? So yeah, yeah. even uh, uh, where's Namor from? Uh, Namor, uh, Tak. Uh, yeah, Halokan. exactly. They Halokan. changed it to because you're underwater. Yeah. Physics worked. The, the fucking train where Black Manta destroyed it and it made it fall. It looked like a normal fucking train. It's, it's in water. Wouldn't they make something that would float or something? If it falls, it should no, the I, water you're, slow you're it down. Like, they did oh use God. a jet stream, though. They did use a jet stream. Oh. Which is like a, a rail. <laughs> it's a freeway. <laughs> but anyway, so we have Mira and uh, the Queen come in, try to stop them. <laughs> Because Aquaman was too fat to follow, it was so slow. So we get uh, because of his bad shape. We're not body uh, shaming, okay? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm fat. So. I know, but I'm, I'm just I'm saying. I'm just too. saying, like, 
it's different when you're that person. Like, for example, if you are, let's say, an optometrist, right? And you have bad eyes, you need to make it seem like, you know, I have the best glasses. I have the best care, take care of my eyes because that's my thing. <laughs> that is my thing. If I'm yeah. known for my mustache and I don't groom my mustache, look, no. So I'm just saying like, you know, he, yeah, we're saying that uh, um, Jason Moe. I think it's unfair. similar to like uh, Shaq with Zion, right? It's like, it's not mm, body yeah. shaming him, but if you're a professional athlete, you have exactly. to be in shape. That's and your... we're not saying that you have to be like, you know, it's not as if it's not the you, look. Yeah. It's not the look. You're right. It's not the look. It's the idea that you are surviving thousands of of no, here's the thing. Fucking Patrick Wilson was super fit. He was buffed in that movie. Yeah. When he got shot. And half by of the time water. he was like a tiny dude. <laughs> yeah. When he got the water, he <clears throat> got buffed. Got buffed, right? Yeah, and like you said, uh, it, Arthur is supposed to be like, the strongest, like the fastest. Yeah, you know, he didn't the get the memo. Yeah. So, anyways, so because he's anyway. late, Mira gets hurt, uh, and uh, oh, he gets yeah. out of the out of the movie, basically. Yep. And uh, thank God for uh, thank God for that because I I would rather watch uh, uh, her dad, <laughs> Dolph Lundgren. So anyway, so they attack, and then uh, Black Maanta escapes with the uh, the Oracalcum in the what's the name of the ship? Um, I forget the, the Stingray or the Necron. I think it's the Stingray. So they escape with the ship or and the Titan. This, this slow <laughs> ass ship. The slow ass ship. I don't know how Arthur couldn't catch up. He fucking caught up with the submarine. No, he. he you know, a U.S. submarine, and then this ship, he has trouble catching up to. And there's this weapon that uh fucks Sonic them all up. Cannon. Yeah, and then uh oh, black and also the black manta. Why did they make it fucking silver? The helmet it looks so ugly for me. Like, isn't it? Well, I thought it was uh it was a comic accurate. Is it? Well, it doesn't look good for me. It's like all black, and then there's like, like a silver comic accurate. Yeah. Oh, let me. Let me. I saw. I saw some like silver stuff. Well. Okay, so it is comic accurate, but it doesn't look good. I drive the first one. I think was all black, right? I remember the first one. Yeah. Yeah, the first one was all black. Yeah. So it it was just like. Actually, it looked like an ant ant mask. So it's got like an ant man uh, helmet. And so he escapes and um, hiding somewhere where they can't find this mysterious oh, yeah. island. Somewhere and... in the Atlantic. Somewhere in the Pacific. <laughs> they didn't even want us to know. Like, like we're going to tell Aquaman where, where they were hiding. The writer and... was like, let's think about this. Like, just put somewhere, bro. And where did we... Where did Black Man find this loyal crew of mer- henchmen? We didn't even get to know this girl who was so bad. Yeah, I, I was going to say there was just like, like this girl that survived everything, act. but or well, she cannot say her lines like proper. I, I don't know. It was just it came off bad for me. But anyways, uh, this loyal henchman. So apparently, um, they're doing something that is making uh, the weather global, the global warming change so fast yeah. increase, and then. Uh, there was like snow thunder at one point or something in the news. Mm. And so uh, the Atlantis is panicking as well. But uh, the council doesn't want to help any uh, to surface because they don't want they, they want to destroy the surface. They don't want their help. And Aquaman's yeah. tied. So the only one he knows who knows Black Manta was the one who hired him in the first movie, which is his brother. So him and Topo... Go on, uh, we, we get the, <laughs> we get the, we get the heist you scene. So again, you you don't have. I know there's no more Willem Dafoe. I understand that there's no other dude. He died off screen, like right? Well, sec- they didn't say how he died. They just said. Oh, they they even did he die plague. in the first movie? He did. No, no, no. They they implied that he died of the plague that was causing the the the, the panic in Atlantis. 
That's yeah, what they say. You... Okay. <laughs> and then we get this. That's what he's saying. Like, you, you don't have any other loyal, badass, secret, super force, spy, yeah. assassin. You're going to give me an octopus. A cephalopod. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Let's go. The drummer. The, the no, drummer. before. You're going to yeah, give me the, the drummer. And then, okay. uh, and then we get uh, we get Dolph Lundgren narrating uh, the, the the Mission Impossible style heist where he explains how deep and dangerous, uh, how the, the difficult prison? to how to get the prison, how to get Orm Again, out of this somewhere prison. in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> that's beside the sea. Uh, that's beside that's the sea. Beside, that's, that's beside. That's literally that's, by the sea. That's it's running distance from the sea. <laughs> so. So oh, he goes into the. He has this stealth suit, this blue suit that's uh, showing his muscles again, and um, they said he brought water, but <laughs> he drank it all. Apparently. Drank it. So that was funny. Okay, I I, I was like, yeah, the, right. yeah, there are jokes that are funny to, yeah, yeah. to my little brother. So he goes in, and we find Orm like uh, very very thin. And weak and uh, bearded and uh, long haired. So, so my thing is like, okay, so if Atlanteans don't get water, I I I understand that they shrink, but they do. They they make they they go shorter and taller too. Because he was tiny. <laughs> so no, it's the it, reverse it, Steve Rogers. <laughs> Dude, it makes Steve sense Rogers. that it makes sense that they go weak without water. But it yeah, doesn't but make you sense don't shrink that your bones. No, but it doesn't make sense that they bounce back to one hundred percent once you dump them in water. <laughs> it takes time to heal. Right? Atlant- Atlantean <laughs> genes. <laughs> they didn't even show. At least they, I would have understood. It's like a little like mirror where it's just super, like well, magic, yeah, I, I and then it's it. like energizing. Yeah. It's just just water. And it was just buff. But, but also, uh, it's well, like Superman, right? It's like mm-hmm. Supergirl was skinny, yeah. and until oh. Flash exposed her in. in yeah, sun, but these so. are not. They're not technically superheroes. They're just different physiolo- physiologically. They're exactly. <laughs> so, anyways, well, okay. Well, he saves him uh, against these creatures that I forgot. I forgot the story. What? What? Connect, how connect? Why? Why they're keeping him in prison? <laughs> why? Why they're connected to the Atlant- Atlanteans? And they escape. He has this stealth thing. That's kind of cool. He he goes in and out yeah. like uh, it's it felt like a game, so that was fun. And then um, they escape. They're still being chased by these creatures, and they're kind of centipede like horses. Hmm. They go up to the surface. They ride to. They escape. They ride to. They escape to the surface, and then um, uh, while Aquaman's fighting some Orm gets thrown out to nearby the. By the sea, and then we get the scene where he comes out and he's buff. The only shirtless scene here, and it's by uh, Patrick Wilson, which Patrick he, he he's awesome in this. I have to say, I and like him. It, yeah. You get good scenes, and then as they escape, <laughs> he does this Naruto run. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait, so wait, okay, right. wait! Not so gonna the... lie, very funny. <laughs> very no, no, no! <laughs> but the way they did it is extra funny because they showed it here and it clicked on my mind but i was like did somebody fuck up because they don't they don't say anything at the first at the scene yeah he just runs yeah. into he just naruto <laughs> runs to the <laughs> sea no none of the kids didn't even uh. no, notice it i was like uh, uh, did i see that correctly <laughs> okay we move on <laughs> and then uh we cut to the, we, we, we immediately cut to them in a the speeder where they got it, yeah. I don't know. But how Patrick Popo. Wilson shaved and cut his hair, we don't know. Mm. And then um, <coughs> they go to this super secret uh, pirate place that a king doesn't know. So <laughs> I don't know how there's so many unknowns to the king. And then um, they get captured, which is the plan because it's the only way to get in. And here is another uninspired. Uh, What's this? Um, what do you call the 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 place where like Han and Luke met? Cantina. Cantina scene. The same. <laughs> the music. They just changed. They just changed the the singers to look like uh, like sea creatures. But the instruments, they changed it to look different. But it still looked like a drum set. You know what I mean? It. 
Mm-hmm. It, they didn't go the extra step of adapting it to something. They just literally changed everything to something, but it still looked and the structure was the same. So, like, they're in the water. They could be, you know, up the top. They could be hanging and they could be, or they could be swimming and playing music there. But no, they're like in the middle, like typical canteen. The st- like the 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 tables, right? They look like a cantina table. You know, like why would you have tables or oh, I just they're so lazy. So they interrogate the uh they talk to this guy. Funny banter. This is the the best thing about this movie is the banter between Jason, even though at as John said, Jason Momoa is trying too hard to be like this brotherly guy. Kinda still jives with this character though. Just yeah. too much. <clears throat> and then of course the bad guy doesn't want to say then Aquaman gets his chance to fight. So they fight, and uh, the guy, the the soldier, the hammerhead soldiers, shoot something. He gets a wooden bench, and it bounces back. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck is the base that like laser in a mirror? Like, what is the physics here? <laughs> so they fight. He tortures him, and gets the information that they're somewhere in this place. Where if Aquaman was talking to all the fishes, wouldn't they all know, like, be able to find something, even though it's around the world? I understand that the world's big. But they find the... So, they go uh, alone to this island where we find out that David, uh, the Black Manta, is burning it, burning, burning the Oricalcum and destroying the world just for fuck's sake. (laughs) Like, Like, just... I can I, I was I was in it though. It's like sure. <laughs> no Power plan. my weapons, but also pollute the yeah. world. Okay, yeah, that makes see, sense. See, 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 that's the thing. Like, it's very limited resource. It powers your weapons, but you're also dumping it to free yeah, this kingdom. Fuck the world, man. He killed my dad. Fuck the world. Yeah, but what's <laughs> what's the end game? <laughs> He's just still fucked. I, I don't know. Even if it was Kordax pushing him to do that. What was Kordak's plan? Just kill everybody and then he's still alive? I, I don't know. They didn't really say yeah. what he wanted. They just wanted to kill and conquer or whatever. Yeah, even the, yeah, Cordex, the motivation was not like, okay, fine, you were trapped by your brother. But okay, your brother's dead now. Yeah, <laughs> so, does he want to lead? lead? I don't know. What, so what's they, the, mo- yeah, there's the motivations, yeah. So he gets here. <clears throat> For some reason, Aquaman abandons his stealth suit? Well, <laughs> Oh, and no budget. Like, I guess this is this was the day where Jason Momoa said, "I ain't getting in that suit. I'm just wearing what I'm wearing now when I get here. When I got here in the set, so he wears this. How do you describe it? This hobo looking clothes, no, like hobo. the tunic. I, I don't know. And then we get to this island <clears throat> where uh, Skull Island. <laughs> It's not even that creative. It's, it's just island. everything's bigger. That, I, that, that was basically yeah. it. Bigger plants, bigger mm-hmm. grass. Cr- cr- they, they couldn't even come up with other animals just to make grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, grasshopper. Bigger butterfly. Oh, bigger uh, one, one, Yeah, one okay. butterfly. Uh, and then the, the plants that, are, that could eat yeah. insects. Wow. So we have some good banter here. And then we finally get the Naruto run and the, the explanation. <laughs> that was, makes sense. I okay, I busted out laughing because it made one, it made <laughs> sense. But here's the thing. I didn't like the cockroach bit. So yeah, what was that all about? It's just like it's it, like you're an older you, brother tricking a younger brother. It's like he's yeah. a cockroach. And all right, so but I fucking love the Naruto. Like you're right. It's <laughs> like he never spent time on the surface. Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't know that when he does this, it provides him momentum with gravity, and like you're swimming. Super smart. I yeah. fucking I literally see, fell off. Once he knew how to run for the first time, he outruns Aquaman. I want to. I want to. I want to. Because find he's out buff. Who, who, who thought of that? Was it Patrick? So smart. Was, that, was, that was really funny. So yeah. as I said, the banter is the best thing. So they infiltrate the the, the volcano, and uh, we get some scenes with uh, the the, the scientist. Yeah, uh, knowingly so, another uh, scientist who's like, fearing for his life, but fucks uh, fuck the world. <laughs> I don't want to live, yeah. but then he doesn't and, and understand that the when the too. world's fucked, he's fucked. The, the volcano is spewing green smoke, 
a satellite, a normal satellite would have seen that. They said it was being hidden somehow. <laughs> They gave explanation. They said it. They said it was oh, hidden yeah. from satellite. I don't know how or I don't know why. They didn't show it. The thing is, I mean, some nation would have been okay the, for, for the past five months. It's been really hot. Let's find out why. And there's, <laughs> like, oh, there's this green that. volcano. You okay. So anyways, they get there. And I'm just so tired of the, the, the scientist trope where, oh, I didn't know I was doing something bad. <laughs> But the world's fucked. I just fuck, wanted to see a But I don't want to die. But when the world's uh, fucked, I am going to oh, die. I do, I do like the idea like he just wanted I just wanted to see it, man. I just wanted to show people that I was not crazy. Yeah, but it should have turned faster for me. It was. It took too long. So um, we get a pretty nice action sequence inside the volcano. Yeah. Without <laughs> Manta. taking. I don't know where. <laughs> why are the big guns always so... Was he sleeping or was he watching something? Because we get a lot of fights with soldiers. A lot of fights with the... Like the octopus machine thing. Yeah. Giving them a hard time. And then like Manta the comes in. Matrix, yeah. 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 Manta comes in and then um Escapes. <laughs> yeah, he so he's kinda of powered up even without the suit. Uh you kinda of get a little too corny. It was a little too corny for me when Orm was like, he doesn't even have his power suit, then he gets punched and then he's like all straight. He yeah. lands. That was a little a little too much for me. But we get a good fight, and then typical uh, um, Orm uh, Black Manta escapes again on that slow ship, and I don't understand why Aquaman can't catch up to him. And then uh, it's the Order Calcum, kind of like a uh, Kryptonite. And uh, what's this? Did the did the forces arrive in time to fight the ship? They they arrived, and then they. The smallest missiles I've ever seen <laughs> to try to take down the island. Oh, yeah, but they didn't find the ship. Right? They didn't have an encounter with the ship yet, right? They never intercepted the slow ship. The slow ship. Okay, so yeah, so, so they, they destroyed just decided the to blow up the island. Yeah. So, but here's the thing you blow up the island, you blow up the Oricalcum. So they also. Yeah, it will release it. <laughs> right? Well, maybe they didn't burn it. Maybe just collapse on it, and it yeah. wasn't burned in the furnace. But then, if the furnace exploded, anyway, yeah, that kind of yeah. Uh, I mean, so we, uh, we we yeah okay. We find this group of rebels now, and uh, uh, uh everybody's sort of uh fine with Orm, and uh, what's the name of the crab thing? Gimli's boy. Name Gimli. Gimli. <laughs> yeah, so we have See, the, I, the, the thing that I don't like about this movie is like they keep on shoehorning these jokes that they want to do like a callback to. Like a the call. hand. I lost another. I lost. It took me a year to grow a hand in the first movie. Now I lost my hand again. Not funny, bro. <laughs> so they regroup. And <laughs> uh, we're, Jason Momoa is probably sad that he's forced to wear his golden armor Apple again. <laughs> Oh no, no, not yet. Sorry. So they, so they regroup and then they don't know what to do. And Black Manta attacks, uh, uh, Aquaman's that they find out that yeah. Black Magic is Boba just, Fett. uh, yeah, just blood uh, DNA. So another here's another Black issue Magic of mine trope, yeah. where Aquaman, Aquaman, your king, and your prince, the heir to the throne, is living unguarded. in a house by the beach, unguarded. I mean, granted, I mean, it's Boba Fett guarding it, but <laughs> come on. My kids even my kids did, did have a point that even if they're guarded, they would have lost to Black Manta. But still, but still, I mean, delayed goons, goons, and 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 a robber could have killed <laughs> it's the the, the, mm. the heir of the heir of the throne. <clears throat> so he steals the kid. And then uh, they try to track him all the way to the North Antarctica or something. Antarctica, yeah. So, so oh, and we get the flashback story from Orm because he was able to hold the black, the trident. black trident for a second. That the story is the previous king, their great 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 grandfather, had a brother. And here we go again. Eerily familiar, uh, equal sign of the two yeah. brothers 
who fought because the other one thought that the other one was after his throne, which we had a dialogue with Orm and Arthur also, where Arthur did Orm was surprised that Arthur didn't even want the throne. He was just he was just there. And then uh uh the Oracalcum sorry. The brother Cordax used the Oracalcum to make a superpower. And the the mm. king was for, was forced to seal him. Why he didn't destroy him, I don't know. Maybe because he's his brother, but that they didn't make a scene that said I didn't. You know, they didn't see me scene like yeah. I'm sad <clears throat> to kill you, so I'll just I'll just. Uh, I think they tried to do like the whole negative zone uh, with Gerald Zod. Like, wait, why not just kill Gerald Zod? I'll well, just put him in the yeah. Negative and if zone. it was so, blood magic, why was the other soldiers free? Yeah. <laughs> right? Why well, was the only king was the only one frozen? Is it because of the global warming? Then the king would have just been freed by himself. Why why need <laughs> why why was it uh, blood magic? But anyway, we had a, we needed a big fight and Manta's goons were not up to the task. So they they Aquaman I don't know the physic in this. So to counter the stingrays uh or well, the sound cannon. They had the to whales. Get all these <laughs> these oh, whales and uh to find they, they even, who somehow it has can to be loud. But it has oh, to be so louder. that was that was a funny joke though when when we say like oh so you are going to disrupt the loud sound by an even louder sound. Like, yeah, going to disrupt okay. the disrupt Makes the sense. disruptor. But just whales. <laughs> So they anyways, couldn't even okay. That was it. The whales took out the whole stingray. And, and the thing was... is, okay, okay. I would accept the whales if they made the sound loud, but it didn't. <laughs> like, so, was that for what? For for dogs because, to hear? Because of that, they destroyed the ship, and then yeah. uh, uh, they infiltrate. And Black Manta goes ahead with uh, Shin, the doctor. With the baby, mm -hmm. why he was there, I don't know. Why why he was the one bringing the baby, I don't know. Was Banda just lazy? Uh, yeah. So even he did the, even though the, he was the, already the, mistrusting Shin, he still gave him the baby to carry. Yeah. And then so uh, he, he did the, the 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 clone replacement jutsu. Yeah. And then uh, we get the scene where the king gives uh, <laughs> another fucking scene where uh, they're loading up. So Dolph Lundgren is giving guns to the soldiers one by one. <laughs> it's a fucking run. Just go fucking get it. Why, why does he have to hand it one by one? And then they stop and there's like so many more guns. Like nobody, they couldn't get more extras. And, he, he, and then he gives a, like a hammer thing to Orm an or axe. an axe. So we get this big fight scene now with the monsters who are somehow unfrozen. And uh, fighting, and then we get this so unearned uh, scene where the crab go, the Gimli goes, "Oh, go ahead, we'll we'll handle it from here." In like a sacrifice play, where you know they won't die. Then we go, uh, they go up to the bridge, and uh, another of those sea creatures. I don't even think we really saw the. Did we see the, that creature complete? Uh, the one with the tentacle thing. I don't know. It I, looks I don't like know. uh, it looks like the one in uh, Force Awakens. Oh, okay, okay. Those... In the, in the, in the yeah, ship, yeah. okay. Yeah. The so one grabs the uh, Mira's dad, and then or <laughs> or does this so long look like? Am I gonna help you? <laughs> like, help you? Okay. Am I gonna help you? And then I'm gonna that was uh, one of those like, oh, you, you you know what's gonna happen? Oh, you're gonna pretend that but, you're not but, gonna help, but you but are going like, to help. But whatever. He's gonna look so serious. Am I gonna help? <laughs> and then he gives this fucking grin, <laughs> like maybe not. <laughs> Takes a second, and then he, he comes out, and then it's also sweaty because you gave him a fucking axe, so he had to go around, <laughs> right? And he couldn't help from that far. Just too far. So he helps him. He brings him up. And then um And then so, he gets this gun from another soldier. Here, I have another gun and the soldier like Where's my gun? That's my gun, bro. I know. And then um 
And then there, I also thought, oh, well, like, Arthur has this super powerful trident. It didn't do shit. Did it do anything no, special? I, I, so that's the one Nothing. thing that I kind of like. It was just a trident. Okay, last the, the, it was such a big thing in the last movie. How yeah, it was a special thing when he got it. It was like now we barely the, used the, it. The trident of the king, the true king. <laughs> it didn't do shit. It doesn't even well, do it the, did destroy the, the black trident in the, eventually. Yeah, yeah, that was with a good shot. Yeah, but so anyways, yeah, you get there as uh, the people are rushing forward, as Aquaman's team is rushing forward. Uh, while fighting uh, the, the the creatures, um, Black Manta is about to unleash Kordax. But Shin does a nice way of uh, <clears throat> trying to delay him, give him a bomb instead of the baby in the bag. Oh, yeah. the, the, the clone jutsu. <laughs> Replacement clone jutsu. <laughs> yeah, agree. Exactly. But he still gets hurt. And then, uh, but before. Okay. He, he leaves the baby. Outside. Without a jacket, because that's supposed to be ice, right? The kid should have died. Well, I mean, I think it's part water, right? Water, but still, it's frozen ice. The kid, kids, half human or a quarter human. So, and before he gets a baby again, we get Aquaman arrives, and so they fight. This is the big fight. But uh, what happens here? They, there was a nice, this is a pretty nice action sequence with the camera yeah. spinning. <clears throat> pretty good choreography. They were fighting, and then he beats Manta. Correct? Yeah, he beats Manta. Yeah. He beats Manta, and then uh, but Cordax was already freed, I think. Uh, oh, he he, uh, he hits look, Aquaman, and it it yeah the blood, blood. plays on the altar, so it yeah. frees Manta, and then uh, how does how does Orm get? Oh, so oh, Orm, oh the, um, uh, uh, no, um, Mira the gets the baby trident, and runs, yeah. and then yeah. was it, Orm, it was Black Manta that throws, throws the Black Trident, right? Yeah, yeah. and then Orm and then, caught it, <laughs> in an and ugly, like, Run. ugly scene, where he throws the scene, and Mira looks back and sees the Trident, and it goes slow-mo on her face. <laughs> Effects and, again, we see and, how... You know, there was a little bit of uh, a rush there. A lot of bit of rush. She didn't need to and turn around. Like, just keep her going like this. And then she didn't need to know that. <laughs> Watch it again. It's like that. And then Arm saves her. But um, holds a trident too long and gets possessed. And it yeah. leaves uh, Black Manta. And he gets dispatched in a funny way. <laughs> She thought he still had power, but he gets fucked. He just gets a quick pu- funny punch and goes down. Yeah. And we get Orm being possessed by Kordax. And we yeah. get the... And uh, uh-huh. Arthur gets it, holds it with Orm. And here we go, the typical uh, uh, brother versus brother where Akoma and, and then Kordax is trying to... Uh, convince Orm. Them both. <laughs> yeah, both. and coming around. And like, if I'm like Orm, he just said shit to me. Why are you talking to him? Yeah, you know, he just said something to me. How can I trust you, you motherfucker? <laughs> Make up your mind. Yeah, so so he sides with his know. brother, who was obviously not fucking him over. Yeah. And, uh... And... Oh, yeah. He gives it to Aquaman, who throws a trident, and it's caught mm. by... Um... By Kordax. Okay. <laughs> Which did nothing. No, he got it. And he holds it for so long that yeah. Orm has the time to pull out the trident, give it to Aquaman, spin it, and then throw it. And he's still holding the old trident. Like, what was he holding so sad? He, he could have blocked it, right? He had the weapon, he had the trident. Yeah. yeah. Or he could have dodged. You know? <laughs> Just like that. But see, Kordax, he didn't even have that Sauron moment that oh, I'm just powerful... Evil guy. Nobody died when he came out. He was holding it for so long that after the whole action of Orm getting the trident, giving it to Aquaman, giving it a spin, then throwing it, it was still like that. And he, got, he did the arrow through the arrow thing, but this one is a trident through a trident. And then yeah. it kills Kordak. 
for Dax. <clears throat> and then we get the scene where, uh, of course, everything breaks. Everything is, yeah. we have to get out of this place. <clears throat> Destruction. We have Blan- Black Manta falling. And in the scene that... See, uh, that's the thing too. That's another one. Like uh, Arthur tried to save him. He's like, never. Okay. <laughs> so... We have a scene that's parallel to the first one where Aquaman didn't show mercy, but this time uh, he is. And uh, Black Manta didn't. I don't know what, what's worse for me if he didn't or that he, he, if he would have or if he didn't or that the scene that he didn't. <clears throat> Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's your right? typical, it's, it's your typical trope, right? Like, uh, I'm not gonna be helped by you. Like, okay, I do. I mean, it's also one of those things where, um, this is the last movie, so we're not gonna give any. Yeah, you know, we don't need to open, which worked better because like we're not yeah. gonna leave anything open. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah. yeah. Let's tie up loose ends. <laughs> kill everybody. It's fine. It's like, all right, cool. Appreciate it. <sighs> we're almost it. done. We're almost done. Okay, so they uh they escape and for it's just throwing fucking ropes to the wall. Uh instead I would have loved loved it more if so after this scene we get them in a perfect perfectly shaped uh iceberg where they're yeah. all up there, they're talk they can have this nice platform to talk. We get the crab coming out with the joke that John says about the cut the hand, lost claw. The lost claw. <laughs> And we have the baby Mira. No queen, right? The queen wasn't there. Nicole was there. Was, wasn't there. Was oh no, no, Somewhere. she was there. She was there. Was she there? Yeah, she was there. Okay, and then I was like, "Give the ba- show the baby to, to the uncle. It's his niece." Yeah, I was kind right? of like, "Oh yeah." I wanted, Orm, a, nice, I, Bob I Bob wanted Bob. a nice scene of Orm like coming into the baby and like. But for ours, I'm like, that's a scary baby. It's not aging. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. So we get another trope. Because I would have loved it if, like, Orm came in and it's like, uh, the. I was, I was it expecting. It could have been like uh, the hand of the king, you know, or, you know, or something. I, like I was that. expecting Arthur to be like, you know what? You be the king. I'll be like the. No, I, 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 I disagree. I actually, this was like the perfect thing. Just like lay low for a while and then we'll figure it out in the future. That's, I like that. Yeah. That one's fine, but I was kind of like, "Well, you're pardoned because you're king. Come on." Oh, that's, well, I, I think maybe in in longer, you know. So yeah. I do like the idea because I hate it when it's like you were responsible for thousands of Atlanteans' death during that. Yeah, but coup. he was also backed by the council. Even the council wants to fuck up fuck up the surface world. Oh, you know that's true. Had, so fuck the Let's kill the council instead. Yeah, yeah and then I mean, also another issue with me is like Arthur. Was he? Who, I don't know. He was who he was talking to. Oh, it was Orm. Like he was saying that, or to the council, like uh, we should ask for, we should wa- uh, work together with let's, the service world. Half of Atlantis is ready, then. right? Half. Yeah. I, I would have yeah. at least nice to see like the good half of you know like. Yeah. A- anyways, so Orm is dead. They couldn't find the body, so he's free, and then <laughs> Arthur. Reveals himself in the surface world and yeah, yeah. in the so much a cheesy way. I mean, Black Panther did it better when they mm-hmm. when they revealed Wakanda. This one was just uh, put everybody by the sea, the UN by the sea, the na- uh, the navy, and then you're gonna pop up. Then he's gonna have a nice speech, <laughs> which he couldn't <laughs> even deliver properly. He became. <laughs> <clears throat> that was like this is the last day we're shooting. <laughs> Let's get the, I don't the care. Not, see this one too. It's like every, all from from again from the last art last third to the end. Effects was so bad. Like even the background here. Yeah, is it, did, so I, it did not yeah. look good. So bad. It's like what was his last night? I'm yeah. the king of and the thing is like Arthur and Akuma, and he gets it, and then he mic drops. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is like okay, the, of course. We will send an uh, an ambassador to Atlantis, so that would have been a perfect role for Shin. <laughs> but of course, he didn't get it because <laughs> they still didn't see Atlantis. And uh, and seriously, knowing what the world is right now, if uh, uh, if Atlantis come up, we're gonna bomb it. <laughs> seriously. And then we get the last scene, the DCEU. Uh, of yeah. Orm eating a burger and a cockroach. 
Mm. That's the last scene of the DCEU. And they have like, that's the thing too. It's like, it's not even the realistic cockroaches. It's too big. Yeah. On a restaurant. <clears throat> By the sea. By, By the, the sea. sea. Uh, and there you have yeah. it. Aquaman. <laughs> and I'm such a big fan of James Wan too. But if you see, that's the thing. It's, if I you see the wiki, if you see the wiki, the the biggest difference from this one and the and the first one is the story, story by James Wan. He was in the first one. Uh, I think David Leslie Johnson was in the first one. We have Jason Momoa. <laughs> I think that's what fucked it up. Yeah, probably because like he just like come in and it's like ah, I haven't read the script, so I'm just gonna like wing it, kids, and then like all right, <laughs> okay. Um, um, so there we have it, folks. That's that's it. Uh, it let's go way. through our ratings and final thoughts. I right, <clears throat> rock it. I mean, I mean, like I said, low 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 bar was not disappointed, but also surprised. Nah, it's okay. It's a popcorn movie. <laughs> Uh, so, so I'll give uh, it like a, I'll give it a seven, a seven, seven. maybe six, oh. maybe six, maybe six. six, six. Okay, I'm giving it. I'm giving it a five. Okay, <laughs> it's not bad. Right, it's not bad. Like it's watchable. It's watchable. But given given the choice, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> like it's like given a choice, I wouldn't want it. Watch it. So yeah. So it's I'm, I'm giving it. <clears throat> Uh, a five. And why are we watching Kingpin? Oh, shit, um, sorry. <laughs> have you been uh, watching that's how, that's how it is. Yeah, Have we been watching, watching Kingpin the whole time? I, I wasn't know. I didn't know that. Uh, all right, Chibax, what is your rating and final thoughts? I'll give it a five. And that's a five like, because that's a five because of my, my I was watching with the kids and my and my wife. And I paid for it. So they are I, the entertainment. They, how, yeah, how, and some how, some jokes how, land better because they're there, and I have the, somebody the, the to laugh with. But if I was no, no, just being with the kids, you know, some some jokes that if I was alone wouldn't sell, would sell yeah. sell me with the kids because we're having a have fun time. Yeah. Um, how how much did we rate the Flash? The the the, the let me check the last one. Because hmm. uh, if I'm gonna be honest, really honest, I enjoyed Aquaman. Versus the flash. the flash, yeah. Actually, I agree. Is it because of the main actors? Probably. Yeah, the the flash we graded it a four three four. So yeah, a four three. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So, <laughs> so, 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 so it, 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 Well, it, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, though, this was a, a little better than the flash. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. We enjoyed it yeah. more, and we graded it better than yeah, and better, yeah. So. And, and even the effects, like the 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 Chrono <laughs> Ball versus the whatever it is that the Aquaman did, I prefer the effects at Aquaman. <laughs> I at even le- prefer. Le- I prefer arms running than the Flash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I I I prefer the Nar to run over the Flash. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. But I mean. I mean, I can give it the full point. I can't even bump it to six just because reviewing it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? we finished the movie. Yeah, we had fun. Pirates. I mean, I, but I also think the reason why um, we graded this a lot better than The Flash because we do like Momoa way better. Oh, yeah. Than J- Jason, I mean, the, the person. Uh, you know, he, he's he, he, he rocks the, dod, the dad bod. And you know he's a generally cool, yeah I'm still a cool fan. character. He's a, he's I understand a cool the character. circumstances of this movie. like, as we said, it's the bottom of the barrel, the end of DC, and not a lot of people. It's the were, bottom of the sea. Were ready or were inspired or you know it's like uh, yeah let's I, just get I it think, done. I think they yeah it was just because it was greenlit and they were under contract to do it. And, and they, that's the it. first one did a billion, so I was like I think they were forced to like yeah let's see what we can do I, with I, this thing. Yeah. I think if James Gunn said like, "Oh yeah, we're keeping Aquaman, we're keeping so and so," at least there's some stakes that okay, this is still gonna be in the reboot. Yeah, and there. The funny thing is like, we have zero even like 
attempt to bring back Aquaman. Like, cause at least there's in in the giant giant James Gunn DC universe, there is stories about Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. We have Batman, we have Superman, <coughs> Aquaman, Zip, and Jason Momoa is gonna be Lobo, I think. Most likely, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> in, the, in the different universe. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, and that is that it. it? Um, uh, for this cinematic masterpiece. Uh, next week we have uh Percy Jackson on Disney Plus as our next Percy week's Jackson assignment. and the I'm, Olympians. I'm quite excited about this because I haven't, I didn't even watch the original one, so I have no oh, idea what I, I watched the original about. ones. I've read I the watched, books. I watched the the two original ones with I Alexandra have... Daddario. <laughs> I have no. I, I'm a big. I'm a big uh, Alexander the Dario fan, but I have not seen this. I don't know what this is about. <clears throat> we will figure it all out. Okay. And I've heard a little bit. Like there's a couple of the networks that I, uh, I listen to podcasts that I listen to, and then they are doing week on week reviews there because they are enjoying the show. So I'm, okay. I'm, I'm excited to just like today. It's Saturday when we're recording this. I'm gonna sit back, watch a couple of episodes, maybe order some pizza, um, and then watch it. So I'm very, very excited. So um, with that, on behalf of Chabox and Arnie, we will see you next week. And thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye.